flex. That is the best avocado toast I've ever had in my life and I've had it a plenty of places. I don't understand why it's better than any other avocado toast I've ever had, but I'll tell you what I've done. Normal farmhouse white bread, not ciabatta, not tiger bread, normal bread, toasted, olive oil. Someone's gonna tell me, oh, you should rub a wee bit of garlic over the top. You could do that. I agree. I'll maybe try that next time. Smash avocado with a fork, a large red onion or two small red onions. I used my, my little baby onions from my odd box. They were like, they're too small for the shelves, but they're perfect for my avocado toast. Chop them up quite small, mix it in with avocado, put that on top of the bread after you've drizzled your olive oil on it. Tons of salt, tons of pepper, everything but the bagel seasoning. Chopped tomatoes on top and I even put a little bit of balsamic glaze on top. I had to go and touch up my lipstick because I literally inhaled it. I got everything but the bagel seasoning on Amazon. I, I get really excited about things that you can't get here. So you get it from Trader Joe's. We don't have Trader Joe's here. So if you've got a Trader Joe's near you, I'm deeply jealous. We don't even have a Whole Foods anymore, but we do have Waitrose. I think Waitrose should definitely stock everything but the bagel seasoning. Yesterday was a, a full on day of meetings and I was filming a bunch of stuff for work. I just filmed um, there, we had our little breakfast lunch and now I've got my meetings. This week's vlog, we're at home the whole time. Hi baby, hi, hi. Oh did you have a nice time on your walk? This week I'm at home again, bloody thr thrilled about it if I'm honest. And I've been working uh, away on my makeup room, waiting till I see the difference. I am so thrilled. Uh, I think it's gonna change my life. So what we're waiting on is some final parts to be built, but I can show you an update. And we're gonna be, we're just gonna be nesting at home. We're gonna be cooking a whole lot, eating a whole lot. The way that the diary doth fall, you're getting this week's vlog early. We're compacting the week's vlog into a few days. But it's been a while, I was looking through my old videos, it's been a while since we did like a skincare update. It's been a while since we've done some cleaning and that's exactly what I'm in the mood to do and that's exactly what I need to do. So let me just check when this meeting is. Oh, oh my God, right, okay. Some entertainment updates. Normal people have nearly nearly finished it, I'm obsessed. Uh, someone's told me as well that there's a book. Do I read the book even though I've seen the TV show? Let me know, but I'm nearly finished. I really loved it. It's sad, it's kind of like heartbreaking sometimes, but it's really nice. I've not read my book for book club yet, but I have been reading Zodiac Academy. Now, someone said to me a while ago that I need to put a trigger warning. And at first I was like, I don't need a trigger warning, what are you talking about? You need a trigger warning. Never in my life. I didn't know what a bully romance was. Definitely not for everyone. The writing's okay, it's, mm, it's not great. They she repeats herself, like the authors repeat themselves a lot, but I'm in too deep. I've read four books in, I want to say a week. I just read it every night when I go to my bed, I read for about three hours. So that's what I'm reading. If you're into, <laughs> I actually, I feel like I'm exposing myself. If you're into fantasy, look at that. It's like every type of fantasy you can imagine rolled into one. Also, I don't know what a reverse harem was. Now I do. <laughs> I'm getting shy. Anyway, if you like A Court of Thorns and Roses and you like that part of it, I think you'll quite like Zodiac Academy, but it's quite intense at parts. And yeah, the bully romance aspect of it kind of threw me. I was like, what is going on? But if you're okay with that, you'll like it. Right, okay, I'm gonna go for my meeting and I'll catch up with you guys later. I'm honestly still basking in my avocado toast. I'm delighted to say that the next part of this video is sponsored by Gymshark. I am going to show you a couple of my new outfits and tell you all about the Gymshark sale. There is a sale on right now. I'm going to link everything that I've got on down below. It's up to 60% off selected lines. Let me show you what I've got. First up is a new sports bra and leggings. Absolutely obsessed with the Gymshark leggings. I pretty much wear these exclusively. And this is my favourite kind of sports bra because it is just very compacting if you know what I mean really nice shape at the back you can see we've got this really nice strap detail going on really supportive great for when I'm on my bike I do quite a lot of the groove classes which involve more movement so it's really good to have something supportive these leggings have a really nice detail here which you can see so you've got it on the thigh and also around the ankle and just like all my Gymshark clothes really nice and fitted i'm wearing a size medium in everything that i'm putting on today everything just feels really nice and tight now i wear this as a as an outfit when it's hot my 
bike is in my conservatory, which is really, really hot. If I'm wanting to get a real sweat on, look at this. This is one of my favourite types of clothes to wear when I'm working out because it makes me feel like a sporty legend. So here we've got the long sleeved zip up training top. I wear this when I'm wanting to get a really good sweat, but I also have an infrared sauna blanket that I use, which you have to wear long sleeves for. And this is the perfect type of material to wear in there because it's breathable, really nicely fitted, beautiful material, lovely long arms, lovely long body. So good. I think I've worn one of these tops before and I've said if you're a runner, you will love this, but I actually love wearing it on my bike as well. And we've got this little bralette. I actually wore this on my bike yesterday. Nice support but it's quite light. The back on this one is the iconic Gymshark logo and it's nice and low. I think this would be really perfect for summer if you're doing yoga outside or just going for a walk. It's the perfect amount of coverage and support while being quite nice and summery. It reminds me of like a cami top I would just wear in the summer honestly but I really really love the shape of this one. Super comfortable. This is my favourite. This is the high neck sports top of my dreams and I've literally I've wore these leggings with every single outfit see because they're black they go with everything but for me this um is the perfect shape it's so flattering and it's just perfect for the kind of exercise I do very comfortable whenever I'm working out I always reach for my gym shirt stuff the quality is amazing I feel really good in it and I think that since I've started getting right back into my fitness having nice things to wear has actually made a huge difference so I'll link everything that I've tried on and pop it down below along with any links to the gym shirts so you'll see go and have a little look for yourself. Work is done. What time is it? <laughs> is it dinner time? Oh wow. I've showed you what we've been eating today let me show you what the dogs are gonna eat because they love this sh shit. Okay. Right, this is what works really well for our dogs, disclaimer. I had someone telling me a terrifying thing about green free food uh, that makes dogs' hearts fail. I've consulted my vet and I've been assured that it's fine. I know, I know. So, they were recently at the vet's and they actually need to put on a little bit of weight. I felt like a terrible mother, but these guys are, are have been doing a wee bit too much exercise and need some more food, don't you? Oh, you good old. First up we have uh, Wainwrights, which uh, we get from pets at home. You know, gets normal. So we've got these little Wainwrights measuring cups. We do one whole one and a little bit for Juno. Juno is a lot more energetic than Droba and she actually eats pretty much the same amount of food as him, which is a bit mad. And then something we learned through trial and error uh, is that Droba has a grain intolerance. He gets a really sore tummy and he gets backed up, which then means that he gets just loads of complications. Uh, with this food, this exact diet that we give him, he's perfect. He gets a cup of grain free and a little bit more like you know. I get this salmon oil from Amazon. This is amazing for their coat and their skin and it makes their food tasty. So we do three pumps in each. Boom, 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 boom. In the morning, Drogba gets you move. He gets three tablets in his dinner. He only gets them in the morning now. And he's, uh, they work, honestly, the difference in Drogba is mental. And then, and then we've got Lily's Kitchen which is wet food. And honestly, we started giving Drogba this because he, he was not very good at eating his dinner. And then it's just, they, they love it. It keeps them healthy. They're both really healthy dogs, happy as anything. So I put about a, like a sixth of a can in both their dinners and I chop it up real small. I like Lily's Kitchen a lot. It's just expensive, but sometimes it stinks and sometimes it smells delicious. <laughs> this one stinks. I don't eat lamb, but the dogs do. There we go. And then we've got this little topper that you put on top of the can to keep it fresh. And then we just mix it up. Don't we guys? Wow, we something's really excited. So we just mix it up. This Drogba's one. Mix it up. And you guys are obsessed, aren't you? Obsessed. Flash warning that your dogs make kick off. What do you want this? <laughs> Does this smell nice? Can you maybe both? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not moving yet. I'm not moving yet. I want everyone to see your beautiful spins. We seem very excited today, so let's see how many spins we get. Well, 
behave there. Wait, wait. You ready? Ready? Go! <laughs> oh, good big boy. Good little girl. They love it. They love it. They've had this diet for a few years now. And I know that it's a bit, sometimes people like getting a bit intense about what they feed their dogs, but this really works for us. And whenever I'm cooking or whenever we're eating anything, I just Google if it's good for dogs and they get whatever, a little bit of whatever we're having, if it's fruits or veggies. I had no idea how much fruit and veg dogs can actually eat. And they, they love it. They love it. They love the crunch. They had some watermelon seedless, took the seeds out, watermelon. Did you, did you love it? Did you love it? Come and say thank you. <laughs> Oh, look at all this. I think she's putting on a wee bit of weight. But they'd, they'd lost a little bit of weight. Still healthy, but they need, just needed to put on a few extra kilos. Then yeah, did you eat it all? Did you love it? <laughs> did you love it all? Good boy. Good boy. Don't kiss me after eating all that. Don't you dare kiss me. Does anyone else? Oh, and I don't usually do this, but I've just sat and picked all my mascara off. My eyes feel very irritated now. We're going for a bath. Just can take my rings off. Yeah, I just literally, oh, I cannot wait to take my makeup off. I actually might do it before I even get in my bath. That's how much I'm looking forward to it. I've just sat and rubbed my face and rubbed my eyes. I feel terrible. Let's get this hair up. We've just had our dinner. of something that me and Jack have for dinner. And it's almost like a children's dinner. But on days where we were, you know, we've had our breakfast and our lunch and our lunch's been, lunch has been healthy. Sometimes a really easy dinner that's great is just an oven pizza and coleslaw. And it just reminds me of when I was a kid. Don't judge. Uh, I'm just going to take my makeup off just now. I'm going to use the Elemis Pro Collagen Balm. Love this. I'm going to take a nice amount. I'm going to just work that in. Oh! always do this, I forgot to put my earrings out. Oh no. Greasy. Um, time is it's quite early. Oh, it's 10 to 9. Look how bright it is. Oh my god. I feel like I just don't need as much sleep in the summer. I've been staying up really late reading my book and waking up at like 7.45, 8. Oh, it feels so good. This cleanser is amazing. It just melts everything away. Oh, it's so good. I'm just going to go for my bath, but here's another empty for you. The Bairado Gypsy Water, I still had this from our trip to the Maldives and that's me just finished it and honestly I think I'll get it again uh, soon because it reminds me of our honeymoon and good times in the summer and it smells so good. Oh, love it. <laughs> Let's see what Jack thinks. <laughs> Do you think it's cool? Where's your eyebrows going? I've concealed them. Yeah. Do you think it's cool? I got the look an egg. Uh, it's high fashion. It's very dramatic. Yeah, it's meant to be. I don't think Versace would have this as their makeup for a fashion show. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Uh, thanks. Okay. Yum. I thought I'd show you the makeup under a strong light. This is very inspired by Kendall Jenner's makeup recently. She did a concealed brow, which I prefer to blocked out brows because you can still see a little bit of the texture, but really fun. Hi dogs. You can see some newness behind me, which I'm gonna go through, but I'm gonna go and take these brows off, do some real brows and just change up my makeup a little bit because we are on a filming spree today. Uh, and I'm really chuffed because I've got a new setup. Shutting all my blinds and having just the light on has made the biggest difference to filming. So I've got tutorials to edit, some TikToks to edit, some reels to edit. Then we'll get into this. Oh. I'm exhausted. I just spent five minutes going up and down the stairs looking for my stupid camera. I guess it was Jack's office. Let's brush your hair. I just had a bath. I have been feeling exhausted this week. I mean, the planets are... Mercury is in retrograde, so if you're into that kind of thing, that might explain why you had a funky start to the week. I'm just being really clumsy. I'm being really clumsy and forgetful and tired and uh, things keep on kind of going wrong. Like technology, equipment not working, editing not working, silly things like that. I'm just brushing my hair. This... We've got, we've got, we've got an update for you on some things that you definitely need in your life. First being that hair brush, it's the wet brush. I've got some stories to film tonight for CB2, which actually something I worked on today. I was on the couch. Um, I've updated my description bar, so I've got a few discount codes that are still working. U tan CB2 uh, benefit brows. 
and I'm going to have a hunt through and see if there's any others that I can find. But I've listed all those down below, all my technical stuff, all my like techy stuff and equipment. And yeah, I've just like updated all my links. So we'll do some skincare. My skin has been actually really good. I've got one spot on my chin and it's at that stage where I could just scratch it off. And I've been doing a few different things. Uh, I've got a few different products that I've been using. Some old faves that have come back into my life, which is quite funny. Um, but my skin generally has been really good. It's just feeling a bit dry right now. So, first thing. Oh my god, who is it? Remember I talked about Estrid, Hey Estrid razors last week and my Spotlight toothbrush. Hey Estrid literally sent me PR the next day, which means they hadn't seen the vlog yet. So that was, that was a chance fluke. And Spotlight have been in touch and said that they would like to work with me. So that, I was quite excited about that actually. I feel, like I, I feel like I spoke those things into existence. So I've been using a facial spray every morning and night. I'm going to use my Vitamin Nectar by Fresh. Uh, I love this. And I just go right over. Oh my god, it smells amazing. And it's just like a nice light coating um, of hydration to start us off. This is like my nighttime routine, let's say that. I have been using my Sally Hughes Placid. This is, I think, pretty amazing. So it's a blend of five different acids, really gentle, so you can use it every single day. And literally, that was too much, actually. I'm going to pour some out of my towel. A little bit in my hands. This is my favourite way to apply acids. I think that my skin, if I was to use like a cotton, what would you call it? A cotton pad or even like a like a towel it's too exfoliating so i just pat that in and sweep apparently this is quite a korean this is a korean technique and there's areas where my face is more sensitive you can see them right here just like right there and kind of around my mouth so i focus that on the outside nice i've been using that every day and you get a huge bottle and you'll need a little bit so i think it will last you a really long time we're gonna layer okay because there's a few things i've been loving this is the ulla henriksen barrier booster essence I have been using this non-stop. Look how much it's gone down by. Hardly anything. Really nice, fresh, creamy hydration. And I'm just gonna, again, pat that in. I've missed this. It's been ages since we did this. You and I. Okay, are you ready for the next? <laughs> Don't feel like you need to do all these steps. I just really like doing it because it makes me feel great. And I think my skin's really loving it. I'm gonna use my SkinCeuticals Hyaluronic Acid. Uh, I've spoken about this loads, I love it but don't feel like you need to splurge. There's a certain type of person that wants to splurge on skincare, I'm one of them, so this product is really amazing, but there's loads of good hyaluronic, hyaluronic acids on the market. And again, we're gonna pat that in. This is the like the first step. I've been using a lot the La Roche Posay Thermal Spring Water for sensitive skin, but honestly, I've just done my hyaluronic acid, so a little bit of that on top is not gonna hurt. This is so nice. I mean, thermal spring water, is this just water? Flippin' love it anyway. La Roche Posay, I love. I'm gonna take my Vive Skin Nova and I'm gonna use that as my evening moisturizer. Because I'm layering up loads of different products with different actors and stuff, I was th I always think that there's a gentle moisturizer is all I need. And the Vive Skin Nova is the best. If any of you have got it and tried it, tell me if you've used it at night before because it's amazing. Water smells so good as well. Here's an oldie but goodie. Some of you will remember this. I've been using my Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate just because my skin's definitely drier than it used to be. I think I used to be a wee bit oilier, but now I'm like combination dry. So I'm gonna take five drops of this. One, two, three, four, five. Let's rub together and press that on. Now I've done quite a lot of steps and see because I've pat everything on, you can see my skin's not looking red at all. If anything, it just it looks better than it did by a long shot. I forgot to do my cream, so I'm just gonna put it on top because that's better than nothing. One thing I notice when I'm using my eye cream morning and night is how my makeup sits. Uh, it sits better. My concealer and my eyelids never look dry. The one I'm using is still the Peptides and Omegas Firming Eye Cream by Allies of Skin. Allies of Skin is another beautiful brand. Right over the brow. Oh, nice. Oh, she's looking much fresher. Okay, let's do some lip balm. And for my lip treatment, I am going to use the Vive Lip Do, but I'm not going to use the one that you know. I'm going to use Vive Lip Do in the shade Pesca. Surprise! This is one of our newest launches. Technically not even launched yet, apart from for our VIPs. Mm -hmm. This is uh, the same formula you know and love, with no glitter, higher shine, and a really beautiful tint. So this is the Pesca lip tint, and there's two other shades. 
Mm -hmm. And then to finish off every single evening, I do my facial tan, which is one of the discounts I found. I went and typed in if it still works and it does. So you can use Jamie 20 for 20% off single items. Uh, I use the 50% darker and I'm gonna go and that scent, that scent, because I use it at night time, it just reminds me of bedtime. And as far as treatments go, in the morning, I've been using my Face Gym Multi Sculpt. I literally just use it like for gua sa techniques. I think it's gua sa. And I just use it around mostly my jaw area. I can show you my neck because my tan really won't get disturbed. But if I take some more of my oil, the movements I've been doing around my neck, I mean, I like to think they're making a difference. I know it's a huge difference depending on what I've been eating and drinking. If I've had salty food and like alcohol, my neck just goes poof. So this helps drain, so I literally use the side of it to push everything to the side. <laughs> Get away. And then I use the sides to drain, so go right under. And you don't need to use two hands, I'm not using loads of pressure or anything, but I think two hands helps me. And I like it when my like cheekbones are popping, but the concern, the concerning area for me is my chin. So I literally just tuck it under. Look, look, there is a jawline there. It's just hiding, hiding under the bag of galaxy chocolate eggs I found today. So I've been using this in the morning. Don't be alarmed if you go a bit red. It's just everything pumping and moving. If my skin starts to act up, I'll pick up my Promise Keeper Blemish Facial. When my skincare sinks in, let me show you what we've been doing in here. I think the final update will be next week. <laughs> what are you doing on my side of the bed? Why are you doing that? That's my, that's, my bed, that's my side of the bed. What are you digging for, Dropa? I actually thought that was you making that sound. I was like, Jack, going to shut up. <laughs> Dropa, what are you doing? Digging for treasure. He's goofy, man. <laughs> it's Mercury Retro he's got to him as well. He's losing, he's losing the foot. There's nothing underneath. I don't know why he's Did doing. you hide a biscuit under no, there? No, he's just doing it. Dropa, I'm trying to give everyone a room update and you're acting like a damn fool. Dropa, what are you doing? He's never done this before. He started doing Wait, is he playing? Yeah. Oh, do you know stress? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. He was just making his bed. Right, before I show you, I just want you to all picture what that used to look like. I'll put a wee picture on the screen, right? Look at that. Holy moly. I feel like I can breathe now. So what I've realised is I quite like clutter, so excuse the clothes in the drawers and things on display, but see when it's everywhere, it's far too much. This is a north facing room as well. So most of the time it's quite dark and when it's dark and it's cluttered, it's very busy looking. But look, we're getting, two doors are getting delivered for here and we've got some other storage solutions coming. So for example, we need handles here so I can open the doors because I have to do this every time. But we've had to juggle how the drawers all look. So we're gonna get a basket at the bottom, then I think four drawers, then a space, and then two drawers. But we're gonna copy that for each. These ones are fine, this can just, the doors can just get fitted as they are. And then here, we've had to get rid of a drawer, but what we're gonna do is shuffle everything down and put one sh like tray, like shelf at the bottom, so I can put some shoes along the bottom. I feel much better about it. The doors are just from Ikea, but the special part is what our joiner's done. So if you look up here, it's not finished yet. This little bit is getting tweaked, but he's made a cornice that goes right along, which makes it look like built-in wardrobes and he's actually made us panelling that matches the doors for the sides. So again, that just needs painted as well. It makes it feel so much bigger in here. And this whole like built-in unit now feels really like bougie. It's amazing and see being able to see the end panels and for that to be secured to the wall rather than the gap that was there. I love it. So that's what we've been working on. It's a really good time to do a huge clear out as well, which is great. Unfortunately, loads of stuff's gone off, but at the same time, there's loads of stuff in here that hasn't been opened so I can just give it away, which is great. So the biggest change, I think, is how big everything feels. So, so good. And it means that I can do filming in here and it will look busy behind me. I already filmed a tutorial today and it's much better. So I just think this is exactly the change I needed. And honestly, it's a bit more grown up and it's nice looking out in the hall and looking in here and just seeing these beautiful fitted wardrobes. Love it. And I had a thought when we were looking at this room, if this room ever becomes a bedroom or something, I was like, what a shame to have all that fitted behind here when really the bed should be here. And then I had the idea, we could put a bed in the window. Imagine like a little unit and a double bed there, or even like a kind, I don't know how big this room is, but 
a unit and a bed right there so you face this way but the window's behind your head I think that would be amazing so I'm feeling very good about our decisions in this room so that's me update I feel like this is a bit of an old school vlog doing a little bit of cooking and some makeup some skincare I really loved it so I hope you liked it too thank you very much Gymshark for working with me and apart from that I'll see you next time bye I'm being tested today let me see you that <laughs> hello <laughs> Hello! Come here! Oh my god! Oh my god, my wee dog! I see all that juicy, juicy hydration. Can I have a kiss, drama? <laughs> That's how we say it in Italy. Okay, you. Yeah. Okay, you. Yeah. It's my favourite time of the day. Ugh, no, that's just annoying, isn't it? <laughs>